Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. And today's video, we are going to take a look at the UV project node in Nuke. So as you can see, I have uh, this comp here, which I comp this crack uh, glass, as you can see, this window glass. Again, this shot is from Action VFX, free practice footage they provided. So I comp these things here and I use UV project to uh, place this texture on a card. You can also do this with the UV project node. So as you can see here, I use this, uh, you can also use project 3D uh, just like as usual we are using this one, but I use this one UV project. Uh, I will tell you how, why I use and how to use this one and what is, what is the advantage of using this uh, UV project node instead of normal project node, project 3D node. And I will also provide this whole comp in my Patreon channel. So if you want to take a look how I uh, comp these things uh, one by one, so you can download and check that whole script. Let's quickly see how this UV project node work. In the top, as you can see, I did a match move for this scene and I have these two cards. It, it just uh, representing the screens. So I have these two cards here and uh, I'm quickly taking a camera, just taking one camera from cam camera tracker. So I have this camera here and I'm taking a card also to show you and I'm taking UV project node and just for the comparison purpose, let's take a project 3D node also. Okay. So I have these two nodes. Let's first see the UV project node and as you can see, first of all, the look of the node is not the same. As you can see, this representing this is a 2D node and this is representing this is a 3D node because these things have a circle shapes and this is not the circle. And if you go to the menu also, uh, go to this 3D menu and if you go to the modifier here, you will see this UV project in the modifier stack and uh, project 3D you will see in the shader tab. So if you go see. So this is a shader and this is a modifier. So the modifier will uh, change your geometry basically. So that's why these are called modifiers and the shader is basically it's like a material. You are changing your material on and all that stuff. As they are showing this is a 2D and this is a 3D. So the first input is going to the texture one and the second input is for the camera. And now I can project this on my card like that. And now we are getting uh, the project 3d stuff and if i add an axis here and connect to my camera here so i can move my camera without uh, touching the animation and if i move this you will see this projection is changing so that's how this project 3d node work so everyone knows how how this this node is working let's take a look how the how this uv project node work so the same thing as you can see we have uh, this first input and we have this camera and axis input so let's connect this to this and you may think this second input is for the texture but it's not as you can see it's not connecting so let's uh, copy this card and here place it here and actually uh, you need to connect the second input to the to the card okay but you may think where is the texture now so for the texture you have this card input image you have to connect it here so what is happening here basically if i tell you we are changing uh, the uv coordinate of this card basically using this camera and we are projecting a, just like we are projecting an image to this plane right the same way we are projecting uh, uv uv through the camera so we are projecting the uv through the camera and based on the uv this texture will apply on on this card so if I move this uh, camera just like in the project 3D, I connect the axis and the same way if I move this one, as you can see the texture is moving and but as you can see this card is little bit curved. So the texture is sliding across this curve plane. So if I zoom in a bit, so as you can see it's curving on the plane. So what is the advantage? They, they both are doing the same thing. So if I take scanline render and connect the camera to here and this one here. So this is the UV project and this is the project 3D. So as you can see, they are they both are not looking the same as you can see. So why I use this one? So 
the advantage of using this one because we modify the uv of this uh, card and based on this i'm getting this render so that means is now my uv uh, space is this so this is my uv space now because i modify based on this uh, picture so if i check in here so this is what i'm getting okay i'm just connect this to one also here okay so as you can see uh, in the uv uh, project we have to place the card above this node and in the project ready we have to place the card below this project ready okay because we are projecting this texture using this camera on this card but here we are applying a texture uh, using uh, this uv coordinate which we created using this uv project so what does that mean what is the advantage of using this one so if you try to do like uh, displacement so i'm taking this displace geo and i'm connecting here after this uv project and for that uh, for the displace i need a texture so i'm connecting this 2d texture here and if you check here now and if i increase this displacement amount as you can see is doing this displacement and as you can see the geo is shifting and also the texture also shifting as you can see so the texture is also moving so if i take the same thing here and apply this after this thing and weave it here and let's connect the dot here and connect this input here and as you can see this is not correct at all so let's connect this one here also and see if this is working no so if i connect this one here and now if i increase the amount so the two things is happening when i increase the amount in this in this setup this project 3d setup so if i increase the display amount the first thing the displacement image and the project image is not matching because they are not aligning because obviously we are projected this one uh, not this one and the second thing uh, when we are adding this displacement amount the image is shifting as you can see this image is not in the same place in the same geo as you can see if i select this one as you can see its image is look like sliding because we are projecting this uh, image on this card so and then after we are changing uh, this geo so that's why they are not matching and you are getting incorrect result here and because of that uh, you are not uh, adding a proper displacement to this card so if you are touching anything on the geo after your uh, texture apply you have to use uv project so just like that after i'm applying a texture i'm changing my geo so once i change my geo everything will stick properly because i projected this one so my uv is changed based on this uh, camera settings and based on this image input so whatever the uv we have in this plane by default in nuke we are replacing with this uv project based on this camera and based on this image and then we can add a uh, displacement and stuff like that I, in this one i added a uh, displacement using this current image and if i increase the samples like 20 and 20 so as you can see we are getting more resolution and obviously this is not looking good so what i can do i can just blur this one to do average and then i increase so as you can see the shoulder is coming out of the frame so as you can see so this is the proper workflow for your geo so now after this uv project now i have a, a uv canvas this one so this is my uv canvas for this uh, card now and if you want to change uh, your uh, scale and all that so what you can do you can just like i said you can add this axis here to your camera as you can see it's oh sorry i corrected connected in the wrong input in the axis now i connected here so now i can change this one so just like in the project 3d i can move this and i can change how my uv is working so even the scale also but i think in this one it's not working good move it back and close as you can see then it's working nice as you can see so now i can change my uv how i want based on the camera and based on the image i have so so you may think how 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 can i use because in the project 3d we get proper result so because displacement is not working here so so this is 
this is the advantage i mean you can uh, replace your uv and then you can add uh, anything here to uh, to, uh, to do any correction on your geo so if i add uh, edit geo also here i think let's see so de delete dis disable this one and in the edit geo so in the edit geo i'm just going to the vertex mode and selecting bunch of the vertex and pushing this back and as you can see if i push this back the texture also comes in so this is exactly what you want so as you can see the texture is also coming out so if i take the same thing and put it here and uh, think yeah we have less less uh, geometry here let's add edit geo here once more and let's try to pull some points and as you can see here it's happening the same but if you check closely because we are projecting as you can see this is stretching and here also we have this stretching but here if you check closely the texture is sliding so if i select these two points again and if i move as you can see if you check close here see this this is sliding across this plane and if i move this in the side view as you can see now the texture is not moving because we are projecting and if i check here i select these points and if i move as you can see the texture is moving with my points and all so so this is basically like we are applying a plane uh, we are applying uh, directly to the this, to this plane but after applying we are changing the uv coordinate so based on our projection view so i use this project 3d because i want to add a little bit of displacement on my geo so that's why i use and because uh, i projected on a in, in this frame displacement and my image will match exactly the same uh, instead of here the projection uh, image and this uh, thing is not match so this is the entire setup here how you can use this project 3d node so if you are changing anything in on a geo use this project 3d so i will show you in this setup what i how i use this one so i have this crack here so this is the crack i want to apply on this uh, glass on this side glass if i show you so this is the comp and if i turn on off you can see the difference if i sh show you here so this is the setup uh, so as as we are using in a project 3d i'm using a frame hold to hold my frame hold my camera actually so and then i'm using a plane applying this let's remove this one and using project 3d as you can see and displacement a little bit displacement but it's required as you can see uh, before before after so it's i'm just displacing a geo uh, slightly bit as you can see and then i'm rendering through scan and render but you are free if you are directly applying if i remove all these things it will not gonna look correct so if i just take a normal merge here and uh, connect this to my background quickly and just to show you the point what i'm trying to say so this will look like this oh so this will look like this and if you switch this to this project 3d it will look correct the only thing i need to do is just add a mask so i have a mask here i'm connecting to the c input and as you can see it will look correct because we are projecting on a single frame and then we are adding a transform here so the same thing we have to do it here we have to add a transform to match the angle so then as you can see i added a displacement so that's why i use this uv transform just for the displacement and once i apply this one now this uh, canvas this entire canvas is become my uh, uv space so if i add anything here it will directly apply to this uh, uh, to this plane so what i mean by that if i take a uh, apply material and so let's see this is my material and this is my geo because we change uh, change the uv here so this is uh, my thing and as you can see they both are looking exactly the same so if i view it here in here as you can see they both are looking exactly the same because we change the uv so if i connect this one here 
it will not gonna match at all as you can see so what does that mean you can basically uh, you can add a dot here and you can write your geo here okay and then you can do your further step in the 3d or in the nuke because now this this thing is our canvas for this plane because we set it like this so this is canvas so if i add a roto paint like that here let's see i added roto paint and i want to add something here i'm taking a brush and i am just uh, adding a vfx so like that and if i view it here so as you can see it's properly placing on this exact exact place and we are not projecting we are just applying as you can see we because we already did it here and then we are just applying here if i did here also it will match as you can see so this is the advantage of using this uv project instead of project 3d so i remove this thing because i just want to show you how this thing is working so if you check my flow everywhere i'm using this one but in this side as you can see i have a roto so what what i did here i use the same plane and i project this uh this uh, video and i uh, did a uv space and then if i remove this one then i did a one single frame roto and then because this is uh, now stabilized so we can uh, do a proper roto here and then i add a remove node here to remove this one because i just need an alpha and then i did uh, this is material i'm using apply material on this plane because we uv unwrap this one so now if i check this scanline render i have a moving roto here without doing anything I mean without animating the single roto then i use this one here and did a mask i mean stencil whatever you want to call and then i did a little bit compositing and i added this one on top so uh, the same structure i'm following in the down here also uh, the uv project and the displays geo and this for the roto and the same thing here and this is the final output for this small comp i added this glass scratch here and this uh, this glass also and the back also we check this to uh, to check this input output image compared with input so i added a little bit here because the most of the impact is happening here i forgot to add here top so you can download this project file and you can add on top here also and uh, let me quickly show you how i remove this marker here so the same thing here i uv unwrap this thing with the moving plate so as you can see everything is stabilized so if i check as you can see this is uv unwrap and uh, as simple as that I, I did a transform mask to remove every single dot here and in the bottom as you can see i have one other, another uh, merge which i'm connecting every roto which i use in a transform mask and uh, in that one i'm using i'm adding i'm creating one channel using this uh, alpha in the mask input and uh, then i'm using this this entire entire thing as a texture and applying on the same card which we are using here to uv unwrap as you can see using this apply material you can use uh, same card multiple times without duplicating and then in in this time i'm using render cam to render this thing uh, we're not putting this whole image in our uh, this this plate so instead just like we created a mask input we have this mask we created here so this mask also moving based on the camera so i'm using this i'm shuffling this one out here as you can see so i'm adding in alpha before we have this white alpha now we have this alpha then i did a pre mult so i have only this uh, whatever i did uh, this transformation and then i'm adding on top so we are only having this area and we are adding on top this is the way we can do a clean up here for this marker so and this is the way how i did here so this is the small script so the main idea i just want to show you this project 3d it's very useful just try once and you will find this is working very good so this is very useful uh, in my opinion instead of using project 3d because but if you have a certain frames you can use project 3d also because you don't need to change anything i mean if you want to uh, project uh, this frame and this angle 
so you can use this one and but if you are comping anything uh, outside i just like i am comping this glass here which is not part of this footage at all right so if you are doing cleanup and you are patching this you are projecting this thing so you have to use project 3d but if are if you are adding anything stuff from outside like uh, this is this glass is not part of this image this footage all footage right so in that case you can use project 3d it's very good and you can add a displacement to add a little bit of depth to your uh, card as you can see it's a little bit of depth i added here so it will not gonna uh, feel uh, feel it but it's there it's a little bit of depth that will help your comp will look good in the end while you are playing you will see it looking good and one more thing this thing is not high quality that's why it's not looking good but this thing is good this thing is very high quality and uh, this back scratch also is good looking good i added a little bit blur but this one is i don't have uh, i don't find i don't get it better quality for this crack that's why once you are getting close it will look blurry if you find it good you can add it from your side okay and you can show me so thank so that's it thank you for watching and let me know if you if you know this node this node is exist in nuke from very long time if you don't know about this please let me know in the comment and try it once from your side let me know your experience and we will see you in a very next one have a great day